And Dad, I know you've been making stir fry lately, and I happen to be a stir fry fan myself. So uh, we just got back, back from our North Carolina trip last night. And Laura's off with her girlfriends, of course, and I'm here fending for myself, making my own food as usual. I thought I'd show you my version of my stir fry. And like you, I like it easy. So I've skipped way ahead here. So there's a pound of chicken in here, and there's a red pepper, a yellow pepper, and half of a white onion chopped up. And I got it in my wok, kind of frying pan wok. I use a uh, chicken tenderloin. So I put them all in here with a little grease, with a little oil. And then when they get cooking, I uh, just chop them up with my uh, rigid spatula. I'm going to finish it off. I've got uh, carrots. I like to put carrots in my stir fry and let those cook down. But my topper is, although I don't put in as many vegetables as you do, my topper is to use stir fry sauce. And I like it spicy. So I tried out the, the Szechuan uh, last time Kim was up here. And we used it for a dip for her fantastic egg rolls that she makes, by the way. They're killer egg rolls. But now I'm using it for my stir fry. Uh, recipe calls for about a cup. And I usually get about two stir fries out of this bottle. There's General So flavor. There's teriyaki flavor. There's about three or four to pick from. Great, I got it on my golf shirt. Oh well, I'll wear that tomorrow. Now, I don't do it with rice like you do. Um, I do like to do this same combination with my fajitas and my Spanish rice, but when I'm doing my stir fry, I just cook it all in the same pot, let it settle, and I'm gonna go watch some TV. I'm watching the show about the 1970 Alabama USC game down in uh, Legion Field. So we'll see how that turns out. I don't even know who won yet. Anyway, enjoy your stir fry. I hope to, hope to have some with you next time I see you. Take care, pal.